Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames and we're back with another video. Let's get into it because I've been calling out this red flag from the get-go of Sean Diddy Combs case and now I believe that more people are beginning to realize and recognize that what is happening to Sean Diddy Combs, while it might seem as though it is fair, it is just, it is not. No. Let me preface this by saying, by no means, shape, form, it means I'm saying that Sean Diddy Combs is innocent. He should not be behind bars. He should not be arrested or he should have been granting, granted bail. So I wanted to make that clear. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested on racketeering charge, sex trafficking, and the list goes on. But the major red flag in this case is the fact that the feds raided his, well, let's go back, Homeland Security raided his LA and Miami mansion back in March. They have tapes of a lot of people. Now, the mere fact that a racketeering charge has been included, which means that he's been prosecuted, when they arrested Diddy, there should have been a group of other people that um, gets arrested with him as well. Because anyone who knows what a rocketeering charge is knows that an individual himself cannot carry out a racketeering scheme. A racketeering scheme normally in group, um, involves a group of people, a company, or an organization. And in Sean Diddy Combs' case, I believe it's all of the above. A group of people who helped him in this crime, a group of people that he was doing dirty work for. Sloan told us he has his three handlers and he was treated by those handlers exactly how he treated Cassie Ventura and Kim Porter. So basically, he was passing down that treatment to those women. So his masters, the one who dangles him on a string, it's not as though they're not known, but they are un untouchable at this point. So what they're doing is putting all the pressure on Sean Diddy Combs. And that is one of the main reasons why you know, he's not getting any bail. People may say, but they have so much evidence against him. Remember, we have seen so many other um, people who the um, police force, they have so many evidence against them, but those people were granted bail and they were granted the opportunity of wearing a ankle monitor, not leaving their house and all of that. We have seen this before. So, what I want people to focus on, and I've been saying this to you guys from day one, Sean Diddy Combs' attorney defense looks weak, and now everything is being exposed. It looks weak because everyone that is working on the case is guided on how they should proceed. So Diddy is not even getting a trial. This is like a secret society with everything being played out right in front of our eyes. But it's just that we're not reading into these smoke screens and mirrors. We all should be calling for accountability. We all should be saying, okay, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested. What about the other people? Where are the other people? No. I know that many of you would like to believe that as tr as um, the trial progresses, that's when they're going to move in to arrest other people. No, there should have at least been 10 other people arrested on the same date as Sean Diddy Combs. And the mere fact that that has still not yet happened, it is causing a lot of concerns. So many lawyers are now coming out to question this. Why is it that this man has a RICO charge um, against him? but he was the only one arrested. Like who assisted him um, in committing these crimes? Where are these people? You talk about having thousands upon thousands of hours of video footage of him and other people committing crime. And if so, where are those other people? Why are those other people being shielded? And not just that, why is it that you're not asking Sean Diddy Combs, who are you working for, right? No. They're doing all of this, hoping that Sean Diddy Combs succumbs under pressure. So they have denied him bail, hoping that he would sign a plea deal. If he signs a plea deal, everyone gets away and it's Merry Christmas and a Happy New, he and a happy new Year for his masters. But Sean Diddy Combs is not going to do that. 
but they're hoping he will. So we know he's, he's not going to do that. And uh, as wrong as he is, if I was in his shoe, I wouldn't do that myself. I would ensure that I take down as many people as I can with me. Because if we're fighting for what is fair, what is true, what is just, and justice, and to, you know, remove people like Sean Diddy Combs from society, where are the bigger fish? Because the truth of the mat matter is Sean Diddy Combs is the smaller fish in all of this. There are bigger fish that controls the police department, that scrubs these crime scenes, that makes these problems go away. Where are those people? And why is it that those people are not being held accountable? If we have heard about Mr. Sir Lucian Grange and people like Clive Davis, I know that Homeland Security, FBI, the feds, they have learned and no more than we do. So this shows that even, <laughs> even the judicial system is very corrupt in this matter. But I cannot wait to see who are the people Sean Diddy Combs is going to bring down with him. So guys, <laughs> I'm going to keep you posted on all of this. Remember, give this video a big thumbs up. Sure, if you care. And see you guys later. Bye, guys.